You guys got any plans this weekend? If not, we got you covered. We're starting something new here on Cinefix called the Emergency Double Feature, where every week we're going to handpick two movies that you ought to watch together. Now the idea here is to not so much provide detailed analysis of these movies, but mostly to watch two movies that we think fit together in an interesting way so you can watch them with hopefully some new context. Plus, double features are just fun. Smashing movies together in weird ways, it's, it's just a blast. First up, I want to recommend a couple of fairly well-known horror movies that I think watched back to back. Will, you'll sort of be able to recontextualize some of the things that they do in the film. Uh, plus, I think they'll be a good pairing with Slender Man this weekend if you do make it to the theater. So I'm talking about The Blair Witch Project, the original one from the 90s, and It Follows. Now these movies are kind of two sides of the same coin in a handful of different ways. They do a lot of similar things, but handle them uh, very different. To start with on the surface, both of these films are about curses. The Blair Witch obviously deals with a curse that's surrounding an area. If you go into these woods, you're going to fall victim to this Blair Witch's curse. It Follows, on the other hand, is a curse that gets passed from person to person. It's not done with me either, okay? And like I told you, all you can do is pass it along to someone else. What the f are you talking about? Now there's an escalating dread to both of these curses. In Blair Witch, it's about getting lost in the woods, right? And that's a very primal fear uh, for a film to play on. It Follows, though, plays with uh, much more modern dilemmas. There's a sexual aspect to this curse. There's uh, a, an increasing sense of personal responsibility for passing whatever it is from person to person. Another interesting aspect of these films is when you look at where they stand in the overall horror genre. The Blair Witch Project was very revolutionary for its time. It wasn't the first found footage movie, but it did uh, really kick off the modern found footage movement and, and across a handful of different genres, not just horror films, but action movies and things like that. It Follows, on the other hand, is a much more reflective look at, uh, at horror films. It pulls inspirations from a lot of the old school, sort of Wes Craven. It feels very strangely 80s, like 80s futurist kind of feel, and the production design looks dated. So you've got one film that is sort of pushing the genre forward in a different direction and another film that's paying homage to where the genre has come from. I know exactly where we're going. I just feel it's necessary to look at the map now, even though I know where we're going. The way they deal with unseen terrors is also really interesting. Blair Witch deals with a lot of the aftermath of the Blair Witch having shown up. This is the pile of rocks and the, the little stick figures and things like that that you wake up and all of a sudden something's been there and it's really disturbing. It follows, sometimes whatever it is, is literally invisible. And that's a really, you can't see it until it's throwing chairs at you while you're in a pool. And then a subsection of this point is you can watch how both of these movies deal with perspective in how they present. Uh, being scared of a movie, right? In Blair Witch, obviously you can switch from camera to camera. One's a film camera, one's an old school camcorder. Uh, that's an easier way to shift perspective. It Follows, on the other hand, changes perspective based on who has it, right? Uh, who's able to see it, who's able to see the weird naked old people slowly walking towards you in a really spooky way. So that's the double feature for this weekend. That's just a couple of the ways that I think uh, these movies are really interesting to watch as a pair. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Also, if you have any other great double features that would pair with a good horror movie, or I guess a good giant shark movie, let me know about that in the comments below. And as always, click like and subscribe to Cinefix for more movie stuff.